Hello everybody, my name is Raccoon Bro VA and welcome back to another reaction video. But today is not just a, another Smash Bracket reaction, it is a very special one because we are joined by our guest star, Paxton Lee, a fellow castmate in the, today's episode. How are you doing today, my guy? I am doing well, thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, my first time doing something like this. Yeah, well, hey, thank thank you very much for coming on. We're this will this will be a very low key thing, I, I believe, since uh, it'll just be the animation today, and uh, we're just now to be clear. But Pax and I have both seen the animation, so this is going to be more of a, a sort of breaking it down as it's happening, and uh, just get maybe giving a little bit of insight into how we do the process of the whole voiceover thing. So, and also. Uh, to be clear, uh, Paxton has voiced uh, Terry and Sonic before on Smash Bracket, so uh, th this guy knows the stuff. <laughs> first time I've used like, death voice for a character. Problemless. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, your what voice? My chest. Like, my, my ah, voice. yeah. Some people say chest voice. It's the voice I'm talking with right now because I woke up not too long ago. Right. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, for those who don't know, chest voice is... Essentially, what it sounds like, uh, the speak speaking right from your chest, right here. Like si sometimes you'll like puff it out. This, <laughs> and yeah. you'll you'll hear a lot of that here. So, it, I, I like I like how it's framed like an actual Fire Emblem mission, and they they did some really cool work on like the background here. It's all custom yeah. made. And uh, someone who's very much fallen into the Fire Emblem rabbit hole. Actually, shortly before I got the casting notification for Prom, I beat Awakening. So you know, <laughs> nice. It's something I can definitely appreciate more now. Uh, I, I'm definitely gonna get into that franchise at some point. Probably Three Houses, if anything. But oh yeah, Golden uh, Gear, Blue Lines for life, baby. <laughs> now here we have the boys uh, on the prowl, and what. It's unfortunate that we're we're not going to be able to. I don't know how much of the story has been cut, but it. This, all, all we really know in this animation is that Crom and Roy have a mission to infiltrate the castle, but um, we're not really going to be getting a whole lot of context beyond that, on as far as I know. Look, if, this is the, if this is the Smash Bros. lore, I'm just head cannoning that they saw a bunch of things and they're just jumping at them and pressing A. Yeah. Crom and Roy players do. <laughs> and uh, that yeah, the, the bread like using any weapons we could find. I also love uh, the. I'm pretty sure it's Ink himself like cameoing here as Toad. I saw it wasn't in the credits. I wonder who that was. <laughs> he 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 he's a surprisingly good voice actor. Like he voiced most of the Pokemon in Pokemon Trainer vs. an S. Like I couldn't tell it was him. It. It's a, it's a very unique sprite style uh, for this one. Like I I kind I kind of like the the way that they show the steps. That's not like most things I've seen before, and I really like yeah. the detail on the the stained glass there as well. Yeah, I've noticed these sprite models in general, especially Roy. At least to me, he looks more fluid animated than a lot of sprites do. But that mm. might just be me because I don't know a thing about animation. <laughs> yeah, it's I, I I would have to assume they're custom. I think Roy was. I really. God, it sounds just like Matthew Mercer. I'm, I'm just gonna say right now. <laughs> you're, you're gonna make me blush here. <laughs> it's, I, I I can see why you got cast as him. And I, I love Matt Mercer so much. I've been a fan for a while, so like any chance to, you know, put my impressionist hat on and try to capture some of that. I wasn't gonna pass that chance up. <laughs> and but also major shout out as well, uh, Heidi and <laughs> Daisy uh, yeah. <laughs> playing Pete. Yeah. I saw that Daisy was voiced by Daisy. I'm like that's that's too good. Uh, you, you how can you pass it up? Like but the, these two are absolute standouts. I think here like they sound just like they're from the Mario games, especially Daisy. Like she she has an entire impression of this thing on her YouTube channel. Like you could tell. Like, it adds so much to the personality. Yeah, no, she got it down pat. I would prefer to settle this in peace. Oh, no. 
Dun, 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 dun. Yep. Fun fact about uh, my Roy thing. So I, I auditioned with two takes, one that was more my normal, normal voice and one with a, a sort of more like a uh, regal voice like this. And when I got cast, they didn't really specify which one they preferred. So I did like the regal voice like as a first take and they're like, yeah, no, we, we preferred your normal voice. Can you record all your lines again? <laughs> so. They said the same thing to me because whenever I initially auditioned for Sonic, they did the same thing to me because I initially auditioned with, oh, yeah, you got to go fat, like trying to be Roger as best I could. Ah. Uh, I think we like your natural voice better. And I'm like, all right, bet. <laughs> I mean, hey, so Sonic's got a, a new voice actor every decade, so fair enough. Yeah, next time it'll be me. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if I can handle that. Hey. Hey. Phantom, I mean. God dream big. <laughs> fair enough. If it weren't for the fandom, I would absolutely love to voice a Sonic character at some point. Me too, man. Maybe I'll do it one day out of my life. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I love the action lines. Oh yeah. yeah, the fight choreography in this is outstanding. Especially for a sprite animation. Not that I'm belittling sprite animation. Cause oh I, yeah. I, I can't animate at all. And I, I, I especially like the, the music choice here. This, um... It, it much like uh, Gengar versus King Boo, uh, another animation starring Paxton. <laughs> funnily enough, uh, yeah, yeah, I, was, it, I, I, I voiced the Pokemon for Smash Brackets too. I forgot. Yeah. It, uh, oh, that was over on their Crossover Coliseum channel. For those who don't know, and they also used an onlap song for that one, which I ended up using for my Death Battle Season 10 tribute. If you've seen that, but they they used another onlap song here, and. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm starting to, like, low-key become a big fan of this band they're using. This is the, well, I guess it'll be the second song of theirs that I've heard. Yeah, yeah no, they, they got a bunch of bangers, I must say. Also, I, I've seen some people comment that uh, Roy is just kind of, like, letting Crom do the, his own thing since he, he got knocked out by the initial first hit there. Uh, it's not his turn yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a... That was a technical foul on Peach's end, then. Yeah. And now she says to join the fight when it's too long. Man. That's right. <laughs> I've also seen some people comment that Roy actually sucks in his game, like, canonically. <laughs> apparently. Like, I've never played his game specifically, but apparently that's the case. He's got four stacked ropes. But uh, we 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 like we like to see our fire boy get. Oh oh yeah god god that took oh, yeah. that took so many takes M me saying take this that was so hard to like get it right because there were so many times where it would just like it the the my peak my gain was either turned up too much and it would like go out or it wasn't turned up enough and it would sound too quiet like people really underestimate how. How much those like short shouts like that really take, especially the two word ones, because of how they're not necessarily going to be the same volume throughout for both of them. So you really got to be careful where your gain knob is set at. Oh, absolutely. I'd say you did Ray Chase justice here, though. Oh, it's it's a, good, a good combat yell. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> got to do the Toriyas. I'm I'm pretty sure that gotcha is Im improved a little there too. Like when 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 it comes to verse like sprite animations like this, you you really gotta like do as many uh, effort like takes as you can. Like like improvising as much. Uh, you, even if this this was a very detailed battle script, but it was you know good to account for every possibility that is. Absolutely. For some of my. I Use some of my audition combat lines for final <laughs> thing, just so I had more, and so I didn't have because I like some of them. Yeah, well, like absolutely. Just like I, some of them were actually like words, like like right there, or take this, or out of my way. God, that that is that really is the double edged sword of you know auditioning for some things, and it's like oh that audition sounded so good, and then they're like okay you got the part now say those exact same lines again. It's like ah. I said it so well the first time. <laughs> I hope I didn't because I know exactly how I mixed the original audition and you won't know the difference. Yeah, exactly. Like, was the, I mean, I, the first one not good enough for you? <laughs> I, I did my own, like, I did additional takes 
as well. I just included the original too because I like. Mm. It. <laughs> and yeah, no, I'm not sure if many people heard it here, but I also had like a fun little like, urgh, urgh, like like struggling noise here. Very, it's very very subtle, but you you can hear it if you got headphones on. Um, I can hear the clip. I love that. I love this part so much that you're in the sky, the sky for a really long time. And the fact that Daisy catches up with you just implies that she got launched, like, way faster. Oh, dude, that was a fully charged neutral beat, my man. <laughs> and then she, she just kind of rolls with it. That feels very, that feels very Daisy. Where does the tennis racket fall on the weapon triangle on Fire Emblem? Uh, I... I, I'm sad to say I don't know what the triangle uh, system is since I haven't played a Fire Emblem game. You're right, I barely pay attention to it. The <laughs> made a lot more of a big deal about it. Mm. It's like sword beats axe, axe beats lance, and lance beats sword. I guess if I had to lean towards one, maybe the axe? Because yeah, of the like shape? A mace, falls, a mace falls under that category too, so yeah, Krom's winning here. In theory. Oh, okay. Most of the of a sword right <laughs> yeah whatever you can find like, i guess daisy just had all of that on her person honestly that makes sense <laughs> oh yeah i i he, they, they also adapted uh the 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 way he holds his hilt in smash bros there with uh some some of those parries yeah and, and that that was uh from the super princess peach like getting like the the rage meter in my friend used to play that game all the time when we were kids. <laughs> I, I I really hope that um, Peach gets to be in a, another versus animation down the line a, a, after her new game comes out because I, I want to see people uh, throw in all the costumes and then have the animators be like, please don't make us make custom sprites for all of these costumes. <laughs> Not anymore, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is way too much. I've seen some people say Peach should fight Barbie, which I think is a really funny idea. That, that's kind of out of left field, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I, I, th I think it would be hype. Like that, that animation in particular just felt so fluid to me. Yeah. Am I the only one? No, no, I, I, f I see what you mean. Like, I... You you could feel every fiber of Roy's being absolutely screaming for life here <laughs> from getting pummeled by that hammer. I I, yeah. I, I am a little disappointed. Uh, I I did have a particular uh, grunt here that I was hoping would be used because I knew I was getting thrown into the wall. It was more like ah, ah, but it, uh, unfortunately it didn't make the cut. Man, oh well. Uh, you you can't always decide those things. Oh yeah, that's how it, you give them what to work with, and in the end, it's their decision. Yeah. Man. Oh, I love that. I love that too. Oh, pardon my language, but one punch, man. Yeah. Oh no, it's okay. You could curse. <laughs> like, uh, that 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 was. Uh, I don't know if that was like uh, rotoscoped or anything, but it, it's really. I love how detailed it is. Yeah, I, I saw that in the like little bit of snippet they sent me, and I'm like, man. Yeah. Crom is not pulling any punches. <laughs> Man, this aerial fight is really fun. And now it's over. Yeah, Crom has been defeated. Crom, they were talking shit about Latina. <laughs> so somebody, made, I have already, I seen somebody make the comment, and you replied to it. That this would make for a really funny meme. <laughs> it, it, it's so funny. They had me re-record that line because initially. My first take of it was I just parroted the line from Awakening where he's like, Now I'm angry. Oh, yeah. I'm very angry. But then they're like, You sound like more intense. And I'm like, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> just uh, absolutely like you want to take this person's phone away. <laughs> yeah. Take everything from you. Give me your phone. <laughs> oh, I, I, that, that, that's a good angle, too, with uh, the, the sword there. But and also Peach. Uh, being very uh, happy for a split second before realizing. <laughs> it's like, oh man, he really about to rock my shit. I, and I, I realized uh, from from that little animation there uh, that the sprites were from the Mario and Luigi series. Like that, that that was very recognizable to me. And I'm assuming they must have recolored the Peach sprite to make Daisy's because that hers looks completely unique. Yeah, it looks official. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> 
Yeah. Woo! Ah, oh, it's back in the fight. Well, Pe Peach is raring to go. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, she just said that. You, you, you know, yeah, I had to get it in there. All right. I'm glad I get a like proper tag team part in here. Yeah, the thing they all came for. This walking what? sound was fun. What? What is she using? Is that like some sort of golf giant, club. like nail? That's a golf club. Oh, it. Is. <laughs> How did I not notice that? <laughs> it is moving very fast. She she is the sports uh, lady, so that makes sense. Unfortunately, Crom's played Fire Emblem Heroes. <laughs> now, I, I want to get your opinion here. Uh, for for this sound effort that Peach makes, does that kind of sound like Daisy to you? A little bit, but I guess there's only there's only so many sounds like a body can produce when you're getting stabbed. Yeah, I guess so. I'm. Just, uh, I'm not, I'm almost wondering if uh, they repurpose some of them like back and forth because cause, like you know you don't really hear Peach uh, like ma making those kind of battle efforts all the time so or I guess that could be part of it like it just sounds like um uh, a little like uh like uncanny valley in a way yeah I mean it's it's a getting hit with a spear sound for sure <laughs> like, I I think it fits pretty well yeah. Yes. Oh my god, like she, <laughs> she she's still alive. Yeah, it, not a scratch on her. I, I almost thought there was like supposed to be blood coming out of her. Like like I had to take a second look at the carpet to make sure I wasn't just seeing things. I wouldn't want to see I wouldn't want to see Peach dead. I don't know. No. There there are, there are some things that are just like yeah, that's that's more something they would have done like early internet <laughs> like sprite animations. I'm uh I'm glad we didn't go down that route. And keep it as cartoony as possible. That's such a terrifying. <laughs> God, yes, the smiling makes it so much worse. <laughs> it's like I am going to kill you now. <laughs> Woo! All right, here here is where the the alternate endings come in for the script. Like this is a, yeah, because. We had to record both. Exactly. We didn't know who was going to win until we saw the animation. <laughs> and I don't think they knew who was going to win either. Like, I'm not sure how they decided who would win since uh, they said they weren't able to do research for this one. So may maybe they did it because it it will serve more of a story purpose in uh, the secret videos they're doing. Like, they got that whole Lucina and Silver arc going on right now. Shout out to my friend Vera Tan for voicing Lucina. Yes, so Vera. That, uh, that canonically means that Vera is my daughter. In the <laughs> very, very, I'm very good performance. Sister, but I'll take it. <laughs> no, I, I think, I think, I think that was like one of the different takes I said of No Crom before, but it wasn't, you know, the exact same take. It was just one of the alternate ones because that wasn't in the script. Roy saying No Crom. It was just. I think it fits. Yeah. Good improv. Oh, no, no, no. See, that's the thing. I, d I didn't say it for this part of the animation. Earlier in the fight, he says, no, Krom, when you get launched out through the roof. So uh, I think they used one of the alternate takes I did there like, and repurposed it for this part of the animation. I see. Yeah. It's... Yeah, no, it does. So uh, <laughs> good good on them. No, oh. Another scream that I had to redo because they're like, hey, can you give us a scream like you have a golf ball flying towards your mouth and, like, <laughs> miles per hour about to kill you and i'm like sure i've had weirder direction all right <laughs> cool all right so it's gonna be one of those i see <laughs> Woo. Ball, it is. Uh, no, never has more effort been put into slicing a golf ball in half to save your friend ah uh, got, got a roy's big moment here that was the the last line they had me record like a week before this animation was made public they uh showed me this snippet of the animation and were like hey so we we first had just like the screaming here but uh can you say 
uh, one of these like super lines here for Roy uh, to like really add that punch. It was uh, they used by the binding blade be sealed, but they uh, I think it was also like uh, by the sword of seals be bound was one uh, of was an alternate version of that they had just in case. So like whichever one sounded better, they would use. I'm glad they went with Binding Blade. I'm pretty sure that's the name of Roy's name. Okay. All right. It's weird because, like, there's Binding Blade and then there's Blazing Blade. I mm. think Blazing Blade is the one where Lynn comes from. So, like, I just started playing that one on the Switch, like, Game Boy emulator. But oh, Roy's okay. sword is on fire. Why is he not Blazing Blade? Like, <clears> why is he not Blazing Blue? <laughs> my, my two brain cells are, like, bashing together right now. Because <laughs> I'm a big Fire Emblem fan. And I've only played Awakening. And how to engage. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, hey, those are those are the ones that are most readily available, so I don't blame you. Yeah. No! yeah. Ah! He was such a threat, we knew we couldn't defeat her. <laughs> froze her in carbon. We had to keep her from wreaking any more havoc on this world. <laughs> the temporary seal. Run. <laughs> this will only buy us a little bit of time. Luckily, enough time for Crom to get a critical. Oh yeah, yes, I saw some people get uh, upset here. They're like, oh, I wanted to see Peach use the star. That's the thing, she does use the star in the alternate version where we get defeated. So there, there is probably a universe where that does exist, but unfortunately it's not this one. <laughs> I choose to believe that Robin's like, hey, they have these items, don't let them use them, the crown's like the best. Yeah, no, like, they definitely had to have done some intel here, and like how this implies that the star is just completely flat. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. How well the ether animation translated the sprite work? God, you you <laughs> obliterated Peach. I mean, my God, she's she is not gonna come down for a while. Hey, it's okay. I survived it, and so did you. It'll be fine. <laughs> Peach is we'll blasting off again. <laughs> yeah. I, so she doesn't get hit by the R wing that Switch is piloting. Oh God! <laughs> Silver, because this, this happened simultaneously. I realized because I noticed there was a in the background of Lucina versus Silver. I heard one of my ah! yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I I heard mine at the very beginning of that animation, and well, we already know that, that Lucina and Silver are complicit in uh, vehicular manslaughter because in one of the recent. Story modes, they accidentally ran Sephiroth over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't seen that one. It, 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 was a, it was one of the most recent ones, I think. <laughs> there, I'm going to have to go check that out. Well, I, 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 could, I could show you it right here. Uh, um, wait. Oh, okay. It was one from the Notification Squad. So it, it, it was one of their like unlisted ones. So like you, you'd have to be like, like get their notifications to see it. And uh, it was like, uh, oh yeah, so <laughs> they they're like they found this like ship and they're trying to figure out how to work it. Uh, no, there's no one who can stop. What is that? The destination is on your left. <laughs> oh no, Lucian's just like, what was that? <laughs> Did you just hit someone? <laughs> My, my dad's gonna kill me, Silver. You don't understand. <laughs> she tr and she tries to pass the blame. Oh. He looks important. How much conditioner do you think he uses? <laughs> I'm sure whoever it was is understanding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. But see, yeah, there you, there you go. That's Crom and Roy versus Peach and Daisy. They, the animation that that could. It. I was very very worried this wasn't gonna come out because. There was apparently a lot of development hell surrounding it, but they they managed to like get get past the technical issues, and it's now seeing the light of day. Yeah, no, I I was flat out told that this episode wasn't gonna happen, and then I found out that it was, and I that that's when I changed my Discord profile picture back to Crom for a little bit to. Uh, <laughs> uh, boy. Yeah. They I'm sorry, Peach and Daisy fans. <laughs> the actors hold no stake in who wins this. Exactly. Yeah. Oh gosh, people need to calm down. All right. I see so. I saw so many comments on this one, and and also like even my Twitter post too, where I was like, hey, I voice Roy in this, 
people are so, so upset about the Fire Emblem win streak on this channel. Like, guys, get over it. It's not that big a deal. It's not research, that's the thing. And, like, I'm, I'm not a versus debater, and I never will be, because that is a... That is the type of stress I never want to put on myself. I just want to mm -hmm. say funny lines into my funny microphone. Like, but, like, I, I get, I get the appeal of, this, right? yeah. No, look, I, I get the appeal of it, but like at the same time, de debate politely, please. Don't, don't call people names. Don't say something is worse just because of the result, and ignore all of the really cool stuff that happened in the middle. Because this battle had a lot of cool stuff in it. Yeah, the animators worked hard. Everybody worked hard. Like, like, I, I we, would wager to say our job was probably one of the easier ones. We yeah. Had. We we are we are very blessed to be in the position we're in, uh, beginning to work with s the, these incredibly talented people, and Indeed. I'm so happy I got to voice a character in, in a Smash Bracket before the channel retires for good. Which... Yeah, no, when I saw you in the credits for, like, the preview, I, I, that put a smile on my face, because I know you've been doing these reactions for a while, <laughs> and, like, you've reacted to the other episodes that I was in, too. So yeah. It, it's good to be able to be in one with you. Oh, yeah, no, I, I fe it feels like everything uh, has come around full circle now at this point, and that, and that, that which brings us here, and why well, I would like to say thank you all so much for joining us and especially you Paxton thank you for joining us uh, where can people uh, follow you and uh, figure out what you're up to thank you for having me uh, you can find me I'm mostly active like on Twitter I don't really post a bunch of my own stuff on YouTube or TikTok I'm on there so if you find me that's that's fine just be prepared for some cringe <laughs> but you can find me on Twitter at Paxton Lee Voice and uh, yeah go check out some of the stuff on there because this is only one of two videos I was in that released yesterday. <laughs> if you guys are fans of Ben 10, definitely check out some of the other stuff that I've been retweeting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think the the, the new episode from uh, Ink Things that came out recently, right? Yep. Uh, episode 7 yesterday, and they actually, like, they got the original voice actor for Grandpa Max back to voice him for that one, which... Oh, I, that's... It's not the first time I've seen him in a fan project that I was in, oh. but, man... That is so cool. He, he seems like a really cool guy. Like, I'm, I'm thankful to get to be in the project at all, let alone share the stage with people like him and like some of the rest of it. Like, you got like Xander Mobis and Kellen Goff on that too. Dang. My luck stat is maxed out. If, if we're putting this in fire. I actually met Xander Mobis at uh, the Fa New Orleans Fan Expo earlier this year. He's he, very cool guy. He's such a cool guy. He's got he's got a lot of like big brother energy. <laughs> is was it? It's Paul. Is it Paul Eating? Is that his name? Who, who voices I, Grandpa Max? Yeah, I'm not sure how his last name. Is. I don't know if it's Eating or Eating. I'm, I don't. I'm very bad <laughs> with pronouncing names. Well, whichever one it is, you sir are a legend. Indeed. So, thank you all for joining us. Be sure to follow Paxton on all of his stuff, and so you can check out what he's up to. And uh, be sure to stay tuned for the next video. Take care. Thanks for having me. You guys take care. <clears throat> My voice gets very rough towards the end. <laughs>